everyone, and welcome back, finally, to the Unreal World Let's Play. I'm sorry it's been so long. I had some issues with, like, personal stuff that I'd rather not get into. So, last time I said I would build a cabin off screen, and I did actually do that. One thing you'll notice, or you might notice, I'm not sure, is that there are doors over here. I just did that to speed things up because the doors require much less resources and take a lot less time to make. But we do have a nice little cabin, nothing special. And I didn't take too much into our food, but we are missing quite a bit of the smoked food. That's pretty much all I did off screen. I didn't really get much chance to play this game. Anyway, I'm sorry it's been so long and I don't know how my schedule is going to be for a little while still. I want a couple of these pipes. <laughs> my schedule is going to be a bit weird for a little while still, I think. But we need to do large-scale hunting or trapping. Trapping, I think. So, let's find a nice spot. Hmm. I think down here might be a good spot. Or in that meadow. I think that meadow. Uh, no, I don't care about cap or sale. Grove. Not meadow, but whatever. <laughs> are there any young trees here? Or are they all old? It's hard to tell. Oh, it looks like they're all old. So, maybe not here. Let's just go directly south of these, um, pine. I think they're pine. Groves. Hmm. I kind of want it to be somewhere I can see from here. So, here should do. I don't really know why I'm agonizing so much over the placement of this. It doesn't really matter, I guess. But it matters to me, apparently. Um, how many are there? Four, seven, it looks like. Oh, right, um, while I was working on the cabin, our injuries healed. I didn't actually do anything for them. I just let them heal on their own. But yeah, we're not injured anymore. Make, build, no, it's MTF. Yes, <laughs> MTF. That's funny to me for reasons that most of you probably don't know or care about. don't remember how many fences we can get out of five, but should be quite a few. Is that passable? Yeah, it is. And I need one up here. Okay, so that's how many fences. Make lumber, stake one. Sorry if I'm speaking quietly. I forgot some of my mic settings, so I'm experimenting again. Basically, it's uh, not ideal. It's 
been a while since I recorded. I don't know that I have a shovel. I might have to make one. Yeah, I don't have one. If I should solve that earlier. Oops. So where is this? One, two, three, four, five. Hmm. Okay, well. Going to mark it by dropping a tree trunk here. I can see that from the overworld. Okay. Did we have a shovel? I don't remember. Where is our house? Down here? Yeah. Uh, wind shovel. Cool. I'll fill this up while I'm here. <laughs> and dig a hole. Oh yeah, holes are something that you can't half finish, huh? That seems weird to me. You think you could like dig the hole halfway down, take a break, and then finish digging it later? Apparently not. Just eat like an entire pike and go to sleep. So I need branches, I think. Which I don't think I can find in a carnivorous forest. Might not be able to. Well, I can find them laying around, but I don't think I can find a tree for them. Which is kind of annoying and probably something I should have thought of before, but like I said, I haven't been able to play much, so my memory is a bit shoddy. Yeah, it looks like I'm going to have to go somewhere else for branches too. wooden stake there. It's orange, so it should stand out. And come over here for branches. Is it B? No, it's C. These are characters pretty strong, so we can carry quite a few, I think. Yeah, that's like nothing. Should however eat. I like how trees have infinite branches. You'd think they would run out eventually, but apparently they never do. Alright, that should be enough for a while. I'll see that stake there to mark the area. I fell in a hole. Right. Uh, now we do the same here for the twigs. That's the word I'm thinking of. Spruce twigs. Alright, now we need slender chunks. Can 
Can I actually carry that many? No. Didn't think so. So I'm not sure how many traps we actually need for this quest. Oh, right, that's something else that happened off screen. Um, we got this. I haven't gone to town for it. I will eventually. Um, trap fences. Um. Huh. Needs to be rather long to be effective. It doesn't say how long, though. Strange. I wonder if one trap will actually do then. Well, we'll find out. I guess not. But I want to expand a little bit anyway, because this is probably going to become our primary food source. Let's take a nap. And finish that pike. I say that, but I always seem to get more from hunting than from trap fences anyway. So, maybe it won't be our primary food source. Need to cut down some more trees. Sorry if I go really quiet. Um, try not to sneeze on recording again. Make number steak five go. <sighs> but yeah, the reason I've been recording Cave Noir over this is because Cave Noir takes quite a bit less time. For the same length of episode, I can usually get Cave Noir done significantly faster. Um, or I think it figures out to be around three hours for a half hour episode of this or about an hour and a half for a half hour episode of Cape Noir. So it's a lot faster to record Cape Noir and edit it and encode it and everything. I don't do too much editing for either. Mostly just cut out coughs and microphone static. We should probably go eat before we finish that. There's no real reason to have it so far away from camp, I guess, but I don't like having the trap fence right in our camp like a lot of people do. What a lot of people do is they'll build a trap fence like literally around their camp, so it'd be fence and trap pits all the way around here. So. Animals just walk right into their camp. I don't usually do that. Let's take another pike. So we're gonna be a while, I think. Hopefully it doesn't rain. I'd rather not have to build a shelter here to sleep. Of course it rains as soon as I say that. I win it. 
Looks like it stopped almost as soon as it started, though. Or, you know, it's just coming and going as it pleases. We'll probably have to build a shelter then. Let's just sleep until the rain wakes us, I guess. Put the shelter up so we have some place to stay the night. Oh, they actually fixed that. Um, in older versions, I think the second beta actually, or the beta that I played before this one, recorded before this one. Um, any amount of water would completely quench your thirst. Which was a bit game breaky, I guess. So I'm happy they fixed it. But at the same time, it's kind of annoying because I didn't realize it was fixed. So let's expand this fence just a little bit more down here. So I guess the best place to do this would be to close off this way and use this natural tree line. That seems like a good plan. More stakes. Oh, well, apparently that counted for the large-scale passive hunting. And by doing, I think we just need to improve our skills in some respect. Which we might actually be able to do just by finishing that trap fence. And again, wooden shovel takes fucking forever to dig a hole. Actually, having that uh, shelter there is probably not such a bad thing, because it means we can immediately hang up meat to dry right there in the cooler seasons without having to haul it all back. So that might actually work out in, my, in our favor. Sleep until hunger wakes us. Oh, we don't need to worry about going back to bed then. We're lively, that'll be enough. <laughs> but yeah, um, my mic does have a bit of static now, which is kind of annoying. It's not that old. I got it midway through this project, actually. But now, anytime I record, it has a little bit of static. It shouldn't show up in the recordings, because I've been using Audacity's noise removal to get rid of it, but it's enough to bother me, 
even when I'm editing it. Uh, make trap five up. I should have enough to finish. Cool. Okay, and we're tired as hell and thirsty and a bit hungry. We can get home for a little while. It's kind of weird how it dumps us off so far north when we approach from the south. So what is all this? Is this just firewood now? Mm, no. It could all potentially be useful, I guess. Maybe. Not particularly useful, but possibly. I'll chop that shovel. I should probably build a fence around this, come to think of it. So yeah, this is where I got all of our trees. For the house, by the way. That's why there's a bunch of trees missing here. So we need to learn by doing. What can we learn by doing easily? Don't know. Our skills are actually pretty good, which makes learning by doing a pain in the ass, really. Well, let's go see if we can get into some trouble. I don't know if that trap fence is in a really good location or not, but the way animal spawning works is kind of odd. So just by having traps there, it will spawn animals occasionally. Which sounds weird, but it works out pretty well. I think it spawns them every couple of days, depending on your trapping skill. And then your trapping skill also determines whether or not they walk into the trap or away from it. So if you have high trapping skill, you basically cause animals to appear and then walk straight into your traps without actually doing anything else. It's really funny to think of that way, actually. <laughs> I rather like that. Where have we even explored? I don't remember. There's a bunch of towns over there. Ooh, a meadow. Or a grove, whatever. It's not a lot around here. Is that lake? And ermine? Nah. The fur is pretty valuable, I think, but probably not worth chasing it down. This, however, is pretty nice. Take some javelins. Hmm. Am I hidden? Yes. Ooh, I'm hungry too. I don't have anything to eat. Ah, damn it. Nine tiles, body shot, missed. Apparently he hasn't seen us, he just knows we're around here somewhere. 
It's probably going to see us soon. Yeah, he noticed us. Okay. We're moving kind of slow, aren't we? Not particularly. Five kilometers per hour is not terrible. Not a particularly fast character, though. Definitely moving too fast to sneak after him for right now. This is the first time I've hunted in this game since the last episode, by the way, so I am definitely a bit out of practice. If you couldn't tell. I'm sure you could. And my sense for like how well we can sneak and stuff is way off. <clears throat> Hopefully it won't be too bad. Where the fuck did you go? Did you turn back on yourself? Guess so. It's evening, so it's probably tired. <clears throat> Oopsies us. Small. Yeah, it's worth chasing after. <clears throat> Probably not worth sneaking after, though. Out in the open like this, it's probably better to just run it down. Hopefully, the dog barking in the background doesn't pick up on this mic. Ooh, sleepy. Notice me. <clears throat> Wonder what the dog's barking at. It's getting kind of annoying. What are our skills like anyway? Yes, I know I just looked at them, but I didn't look at our weapon skills. We have 80 in bow. And a fine hunting bow. I'm gonna try our bow. Might lose a couple arrows, but I'm not too concerned about it. Not hurt us. I'm too tired to sneak effectively, I guess. So I'm just gonna take out the javelin. I think we're at the point of being too tired <coughs> to fight effectively. If it comes to that. But usually an elk isn't too hard to fight once it's tired. They very rarely hit back. Usually they just keep trying to run, and it doesn't always work out for them. Come on. No, you're faster than us. Pretty sure even running we couldn't keep up with it. It's whining at us now, poor thing. It's getting tired. We 
always circling back on its old tracks. That's kind of annoying if it's true. Um, which way? Southwest? Hmm. Very fresh heading west. So I think this is a fresh trail. Heading north. Hmm. Ah, there you are. How much did you rest up while we were wandering around confused, breathless? So, as much as you rested up, it was not enough. Get back here. Um, game? Yeah, um, since it's not clear what happened there, I was moving despite having stopped press the button for several steps now. Ooh, it's fighting back. That's not great. Okay, we should have this then. That was a little bit harder than I expected it to be, mostly because of how tired we are. This is why you should hunt when you're well rested. But it worked out. Probably gonna pass out as soon as we finish skinning and cutting this up. Nope, we're still on our feet somehow. We are super fatigued though. Let's just rest up here. We're quite a bit away from home. I think we might be closer to the villages than... We are to home, actually. Yeah, we definitely are. Loading. Come on. Thank you. Um, right, what was... was it C? Yes. Uh... I'd like to pay my debt. And yeah, I know it seems weird to... buy that when we literally have food in our bag, but... I just wanted to be able to actually sleep real quick. By the way. Oh, right. Can't zoom away from the village while we're in it. Forget about that. Let's just hurry back home. Just have to follow the river to get there, I think. Yep. It's nice having a home that's easy to find. 
I've actually lost a few. Not like lost them, but had to use the world map to find my way back. These stakes and a board should be enough firewood. Let's eat that smoked pike. And grab the boards. Did not succeed, but there is plenty of material to start one, should we ever actually start one. We don't have the fire ritual. There we go. Why is the button for cook? Um, I'll see. Can't try anything in summer, can we? No. Not salt. It's E for smoke. I think this is the first animal we've killed that we actually get to eat all of it, or at least preserve all of it. We've had to trade all of our other animals. I guess we did trade one cut from this one, but... Oh, cool. That accomplished our learn by doing task. We'd sell one cut from this one actually, but we didn't have to, strictly. We could have survived. I said that so I didn't have to wait around and roast a bunch of it when I could smoke almost all of it. Alright, that I will. What? Why did I bring up praying in a trap? I don't know. I will roast these nine cuts. Um, and we got a fine skin from it. That's not bad. I'm surprised with how tired we were when we skinned it. I'll use the fat to tan it. I know some people were telling me I should use bark because the fat is such a good meal, but I don't really care that much. Is there any fat left? No. So I think that's going to be it for this episode. I don't know when the next one's going to be. Like I said, I've got some personal issues that have been getting in the way of recording. But I'll try to make it more consistent. Alright, see you next time guys. Bye!